your stuff down right hey, now. Hey, I don't want to right. I don't know. What do you I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to cultivate worship. <laughs> right oh, the word. Hey, everybody. Here's welcome the to the yes. Family Chapel Ladies Bible Study, your online Bible study. It's not right just now. ladies. I think David's on his way. Um, he's going he's gonna to come in. We're, we'll just talk about him until he gets here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> anyway, um, it, it's a... This is a really interesting study that we're going to start, and um, it's not something that I'm, I wasn't planning on doing it on live, but David said I had to. <laughs> it's a different, it's something different that we haven't done before, and I kind of like that plan. I do like different. I know, yeah, you do, yeah. I found a t-shirt for you I want to make you, and it says, twisted like the red stripe on the candy cane. Oh, yay! Oh, yay. <laughs> I told David, I said, that'll fit Michelle. We like different, that's that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I put it in the dryer and still, it, it hangs right. It's just oh, too it big. It's really? it extra large. Mm. It doesn't fit. It's too big. So okay. somebody mm. has to boot something to be able to fit okay. it. I can't. The, the, right the, 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 the what? It's a pretty shirt. Oh, okay. Fall for Jesus. He never leaves. The one like you Hey, Blake, glad you joined us. As you get online, the um, memory, hey, um, finally getting to a Christian, oh, bookstore in Lafayette, yes. I didn't mm. know there was one in Lafayette. I've been looking for a Christian bookstore for a while because I like to hold what I'm trying to buy. I don't like to buy it online well, as much Florida, as... Florida, 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 Christian bookstore. Still there? Mm -hmm. I, I saw it. I don't know... Don't they have one? Mm. There's, there's one in there's one in Christian Way or something right now? Oh, Lifeway's gone. Oh, oh Lifeway. Okay. Lifeway's all yeah, I was gone. Like, I haven't been to the mall in 10 years. Yeah. There. Me too, huh? Maria, I after you um, get done and you get ready to get online, give me a shout. I've got some stuff I want to share with you about today. All right. This is called Write the Word, is right. what this study is. Write, W R I T E. Okay. Write. And this is a journal that I picked up online from Proverbs 31 Ministries. Y'all can get it there. Sorry, it's backwards, but that's the way the camera is. Um, okay. And the whole point of it is we're going to spend the next three weeks learning, uh, looking at worship in the Bible so to prepare us for Christmas. Okay. Okay. I love the Christmas the Advent season. I just absolutely love it. But I got looking at the journal, and the journal is just simply some blank pages with some scriptures on it that you're supposed to copy. Um, so I went ahead, and I'm going to read you this, the first the blog post that was put out um, by Melissa Taylor, who is the author of the book. Um, and I want to read you what she wrote, and it'll help explain why we're going to do it this way. It says, hey, y'all, it's Melissa again. I hope you had a great time at our online book study this week, and I have a confession to make. Before I started writing the word, I was feeling tired and defeated. 2020 had just about done me in. Come on, Christy. Come on, welcome, yeah. welcome. Um, 2020 had just about done me in. And you know, I can probably vouch for that for most of us, right? Hi, Poster. Um, it's a pink journal, but guys can do it too. Just get your own journal. And then I had a realization that took place after completing pages five, six and seven in my journal. And in this journal on pages six and seven, it asks you some really interesting questions. And I kind of want, I didn't make notes of this, but we need to. So we're going to look back at 2020. And the first question is, this year has been blank. What, how has this year okay. been for you? All right, so this year has been whatever. Okay. Um, and you can do this during the week. Um, the second question is how I feel today. So I'm eating a candy cane. Those things are soft. Where'd you get them? The candy cane? They're softer than normal candy canes. I was sucking on them. I was like, oh, bro. Oh, no. Mm. So I usually suck them until they're pointy. <laughs> I should do that too. I love candy canes. And then I'd stab people in school. Oh, right. I didn't eat it. Huh? <laughs> and then I would eat it. <laughs> All right. They said I was twisted. You twisted like the candy cane stripe. <laughs> All right. The biggest challenges I've had this year. Mm. 
I should have just made copies of this. I don't know why I didn't. Sorry. All right. I think we've all faced some challenges this past year. Mm -hmm. Good things God has done for me. I gotta take that whole page. I know. It, it might be. It might be. Two it, it might be two pages. <laughs> I got you a new journal. Go with this study if you want a new journal. my special needs child yes indeed. okay good things God has done this year now now looking forward all right how do I want to feel at the end of this coming year yes Blake yes Blake yes 2021 good things God has done for me yes um, and then how do I want to feel at the end of this coming year At the end of 2021? That's the way I... Into 2020. Yeah, that's yeah. the way I understood it. At the end of 2020. It. Yep, you, you got it, Blake. At the end of 2021. Okay. Or, or, which one? In the coming 20? year. How do you want to feel at the end of the coming year? Okay, then. All right. <coughs> one thing I want to cultivate in the year ahead. One thing you want to, you want to get better at or you want to, whatever, cultivate. <coughs> Christy, I'll, let you, I'll give you this book and you catch up. I don't know how to spell cultivate. Uh, C-U-L. <coughs> Excuse me. C-U-L. Um, I just put one thing I want to get better at in the coming year. Be better at? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Blake. I appreciate that. By the end of this year, you said? The coming year. The coming year. Okay. All right. And the next thing is when I think about the big picture, this is what's important to me. So what is it, what, when, you, when you think about your life, what is the, in the big picture of your life, what's the important thing in your life? All right. The next question is, what worship has looked like for me in the past? I passed this year before? Yep. Okay. Before today. Well, how is, how, what does worship look like for you? Blake is being my secretary on here. I love it. Thank you. He's typing the questions in. So if you're watching it, going back on it, oh. the questions will be on the screen. Oh, cool. cool. See, everybody thinks you're cool, Blake. It's a dude, Blake? It's a dude, Blake. Okay. All right. And then, <laughs> he's, and he's a cool dude. Okay. Um, let's see. What does worship look like for me in the past? The next one is, I feel the most worship, worshipful when. Worshipful. Is that even a word? Worshipful? Full of worship? Sure it is. When the music's uh -huh. extra loud and there's lots of people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, and the last one is, what do I hope to gain from this study? Okay. So that's what she's talking about here. It says, when I, when I answered these questions on six and seven in my journal, I took note of my response in the two sections on these pages. In one section, looking back, I wrote a fear and uncertainty all due to, uh, due to all that's happened this year. In the other, looking forward, I wrote what I wanted to have that I wanted to have an excitement for what's ahead. But I'm worried it could be more of the same, and it made me ponder what has happened to my joy. Then we started writing the word. I decided from the beginning that I would do this every single day, and here's what I gained this week. I'm just going to tell you when you're writing your when you're writing the word. Um, you date it. Um, the first question is, I am grateful for. I'm going to give you a pa I'm going to give oh, you a sheet. Okay. In fact, you want to just take one and pass those yes, around. I sure. Yeah. I could be your secretary. Will you be my? <laughs> you be my helper. Okay. okay, I need one. Okay, sorry. Don't mean to scream into the phone. Um, the instructions are on the back. It says, first of all, date your page. 
And the first, at the top, it says, every page, it says, I am grateful for. Fill that in. Uh, in your journal, just write, I am grateful for. And right the second... No, no. Wait, this is for your daily, your so daily work. Yeah, on the, on the, yeah, we're doing this week. The question, you have them on here? Yeah, it's on the back. Look on the bottom. One the instructions week. in the back. Turn it over. Right at the bottom. On the back. Turn it over. Oh, don't the bottom. Yeah, that's the you, oh, no. Turn it over. Turn <laughs> look, right there. It's the instructions. Are instructions. Right oh, <laughs> shoot. Come <laughs> on, in the back. Flip it over in the back. I, 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 I should have, like, you know, highlighted instructions. I'm sorry. Oh, or maybe put the instructions it's at the beginning would have been a smart idea. Been nice. right. I'll let you slide this All right, thanks. <laughs> so then it says to write the scripture out word for word, and I will give you a list of all of the scriptures. Okay. This is, right. These are the, 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 for the first week, right? Right. Week one is on the front. And that's okay. for every day. Like, every day. Right. One through I think it's six, six days. Okay. I think it's six days. Okay. It's really not that much. <laughs> can, I, can I please turn the heat down? Are, is everybody else warm enough? I'm good. Okay, good. Yeah. I know you're hot because you've been working outside. Yeah, but like I came in and it was like 64. <laughs> it's like, that ain't going to work. Um. So you write the scripture, scripture out, and I want you to write it word for word. It doesn't matter what translation you use, but you write every single word, word. every comma, every semicolon, every capital, every not, you know, every everything. Punctuation. You, exactly. Yeah. Okay. After the scripture in your in your journal, you're going to write on my heart today, and just a little short. What's what's on your heart after you've written the written it? Mm -hmm. You're going to list, the Lord's going to prompt you and what's on your heart. And close your daily journal, journaling mm -hmm. with writing my word for the day. And I'm going to share with you what this author, what the author of this book has done. All right. Um, Monday. Monday showed me in each verse that there was always a reason to praise the Lord. Tuesday, out of Romans, it spoke to me that I shouldn't conform, be transformed by the renewing of my mind. Wednesday, showed me where, why, and how I can praise him. Thursday, reminded me of who God is and why I can trust him. And on Friday, made it clear that I could fight off the temptation to take the easy way out when it's offered. God and his word are strong enough to stand against anything. Satan had no power over Jesus, and he has no power over me. Just like Jesus, I can stand on the word of God. So, that's the type, I mean, we're not talking about writing a book. Right. Proper spelling, punctuation, paragraphs. This is not a test. This is just how you're feeling, okay? If you don't already journal, this, I, I'm pray, really praying that this will kick it off. And, you, and you'll... That's what I'm hoping. Um, that's what I'm that thinking this is going to do. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to journal, too. Yeah. Okay. Elizabeth does. I, so. used to, I, right. used, I used to be really frustrated by a journal. I mean... I journal, but not every day. I journal okay, look, like, like this, this is a lot of pressure. Right, this giant empty page is a lot of pressure to journal, especially if you're type A and you feel like you need to fill it. Okay, <laughs> and it's like I don't have that much to say, and I get really frustrated. Well, I got a journal I found that had two lines. It it has to. <laughs> no, it's awesome. It's a it's a great it's a wonderful <laughs> journal, and I I haven't found it again. But it says um, prayers today for scripture reading today. I mean, and it's just one or two lines for, you know, ask six or seven questions and there's just one or two lines. So it was easy to fill in, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't, it wasn't this massive blank book, uh -huh. right? Well, I've gotten much better about writing in the blank book because I, you know, God speaks to me when I write. So, um, so anyway, so here at the end of the week, I am awe, in awe of how the Lord showed up or more accurately, how he never left. Why did I have fear and uncertainty in the beginning of this journey? Because I focused on the wrong things. In five days of writing the word, I was reminded of what I already knew, yet so easily forget. Page nine, Laura writes, when you write scripture, it gets into your heart. Mm -hmm. When God's word is in your heart, you have his perspective and not a worldly one. Mm -hmm. Some of us are visual learners. Mm -hmm. And I find that if I read it out loud and if I write it, mm -hmm. I learn it. Mm -hmm. it, it changes well, how I, I, I rather have to, I have to write say, it right instead of just reading mm -hmm. it and say it out loud mm -hmm. right yeah. I'll have read it scripture says. over and over okay <laughs> scripture says that our lives are changed by the hearing mm -hmm. of the word yes that means you have to write it you have to say it out loud yes. Yes. it's not just reading it you need right. to read you really need to read it all out that's way, the way it's written the way it is is so that you can hear yeah, it true. Well, 
Right. Thank God I read out loud. I read out loud. My thoughts go elsewhere. Yeah. Right. If I read out loud, I can't do that. Exactly. And right. that's why I like to write my prayers because that keeps me focused. Otherwise, I leave the planet. Right. Uh, there's an app on the uh, Bible app mm-hmm. <clears throat> where you can put your prayers in yeah. there. And you can either share them with friends that you're on the Bible app with, oh, or cool. you can keep them private. I just and use I it to look at scriptures. I a lot of my <laughs> private prayers in there. There you go. Um, it says, I love that our focus is on cultivating worship. When we stand in awe of him, worshiping the very one who redeems, restores, rebuilds, and rescues, we can turn our perspective from hope to, from fear to hope. And that's enough to gain a little joy back into my life. What I have discovered through writing the word is that when I do, it really gets into my heart. Then I remember that he is good and faithful. If I'm not diligent to meet with him, then I can forget that and I become consumed with the yuck that's going on in life. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to continue to worship and praise him above all as we continue to write the words in the weeks ahead. This is only the beginning. So it's not that particularly difficult. Um, Whatever translation of script Bible you want to use, it doesn't make any difference. Um... And the reason I wanted to do this, the reason I want to do this is because we've been studying Revelation and I've pretty much been lecturing. And I think that at this moment, we need to get into the word ourselves, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and this is a good time to make, okay, Advent, new Christmas is coming. Let's, let's do a focus on worship and going forward. We may Mm -hmm. still write the word, but we might do a different topic. We might do fear. What does God say about fear? What does God say about giving? What does God say? I don't know. Whatever whatever topic you guys want to talk about, then we can search for the scriptures, just like these ladies did about worship, right? I mean, she put this together with all the scriptures about worship. All of these will point towards worship. And... We could do the same thing with another topic that we feel strongly about. Yeah, it's not like you doing all the work and giving it to us. We right. get involved. This in is work. right. right. Mm-hmm. Y'all have to do this now. Yeah. Then when we come together, we're going to share what we've written. Mm-hmm. All right. I love sharing. And I like to hear other people's ideas and how they perceive different huh, exactly. versions of things. And just just like and, Melissa put yeah. hers on the internet and in, in the blog, and you can go to Proverbs Thirty One Ministries, and the blog is there, and you can read the blog. If any, and they also do it online on Monday. It's at nine o'clock, I think we looked it up, mm-hmm. and it's live online. If you know, if you want to join in line, it's not on, it's not on live. It's on Proverbs Thirty One mm-hmm. Ministries. Mm-hmm. So if you want to Monday. watch that at nine o'clock in the morning on I think it's Monday. It's, I'll double check if if you want to look for it, then I'll I'll go ahead and look deeper for it. Um, and they sit around the table and they talk about what's their it called scripture. again? Proverbs thirty one. Twenty one. Thirty one. Thirty one. Thirty one ministries. All right. Ministry. Y'all know y'all know what Proverbs thirty one is, right? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna show you this later, but that's my father-in-law today because he's a pastor. Let's. Mm-hmm. I got mad written mine and, and I found them and I've been going over them. Yeah. Proverbs 31. <laughs> I'm thinking of, uh, I'm thinking of Bible. Let me know when you get there. I know everybody has a different translation, but I'm going to read from the New, New, or the New King James. Chapter 10, or verse 10. Who can find a virtuous wife? Mm. <laughs> Proverbs what? <laughs> Proverbs what? Right. 31. 31, 10. 31 starting in oh, verse 10. 10. <laughs> the whole point of this ministry, of, of the, the ministry of 31 ministry, is to help women become what this scripture says. Mm-hmm. All right? Okay. All right. You got it? It's the last chapter of Proverbs. Yeah, that, I could have shared. I, I could have shared you with that. Uh-huh. You don't have your glasses. Okay. No, I ripped it out. And then he, he, you ripped I, out to thirty-one. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you rip it out? Because that's, that's when I was mad at God and I ripped it out and I threw it in the garbage. Oh, yeah. that's, that's, I, I'm sorry. Bad. That's pretty funny. <laughs> no, it's something I was. If you got to rip out a page, this might be a good one. <laughs> 
Wait till you hear what here, it says. You can read with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right here. I'll read with Christy. All right. All right. Probably why. That is, yeah, that is more, so fun. I, I, I know you opened your Bible and you were look, and then you qu closed it quickly. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. If okay. I if I had thought of ripping that page out of my Bible back in the beginning of all of this <laughs> God stuff, I would have done it. <laughs> you, you did twenty six all the way through. Uh, what, what is it? Proverbs fourteen to Isaiah twenty five. Yeah, Isaiah twenty five. All right. Well, Amy, yeah. need, Amy wants a new Bible for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So chat, verse ten. All Who? Right can find a virtuous wife for her worth is far above rubies the heart of her husband safely trusts her <clears throat> so he will have no lack of gain she does him good and not evil all the days of her life she seeks wool and flax and willingly works with her hands she is like the merchant ships she brings food from afar she also rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and a portion of for her maidservants she considers a field and buys it, and her profits for, for from her profits she plants a vineyard. She girds herself with strength and strengthens her arms. She perceives that her merchandise is good and her lamp does not go out by night. She stretches out her hands to the distaff, to the poor, and her hands to the spindle. She extends her hand to the poor, yet she reaches out her hands to the needy. Mm -hmm. She is not afraid of snow for her household, for her household is clothed in scarlet. She makes tapestry for herself, and her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits in the el among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them and supplies sashes for the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing. She will rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and on her tongue is the law of kindness. She watches over the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed and her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have not done well, but you exceed them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord shall be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands and that her own works praise her in the gates. This is, this is, awesome. a, this is a wife who works hard takes care of business, handles mm -hmm. business for her husband, does not talk bad about him to anybody, mm -hmm. doesn't talk down to him, doesn't, she, she, she's, her children are closed in scarlet and she's closed in purple. I, I had an, an invitation to go speak at the Red Hat Society wow. in uh, Baton Rouge at, at a uh, big, it was a big to-do. I, I didn't yeah. realize what it was until I got there. And it was at one of the plantations, and it was so much fun. And I sit and I taught on the Proverbs thirty one. This was the original red hat lady, yep. scarlet and purple. Yep. Oh, yes. And um, and she works and gives and is diligent mm -hmm. and is focused on her family and and focused on, you know, bringing a positive influence to her household rather than a negative. Mm -hmm. And once you study Proverbs thirty one, you start noticing areas in your own life where you lack, mm -hmm. and you're going, oh. Please. Mm -hmm. I need to fix that. I need to change that. I'm right. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where this is, but this is like one of my my favorite Bible verses, and it's on my phone. Mm -hmm. Has my background, and it's in Proverbs, and it's um, she is clothed with strength and dignity, and laughs without fear for the future. Proverbs thirty one. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just a different translation. Oh, okay. Well, I was in Hobby Lobby like month back and I saw a little cross with it written on it mm -hmm. and I just had to get it and I mm -hmm. bought it and I gave it to Elizabeth there you go and I said Elizabeth hang this in your room this is one you what you want to be when you grow up uh-huh so there's there's four weeks of I think there's four weeks so. of scriptures in here but I only did three because we're starting a week behind this group okay but I, I want to start at the beginning so I didn't want to start in week two right um because they started on monday and if we get to week three and you want to do week four then i'll print it out it's not a big okay. deal yeah. there is a memory verse each week and i for me i have to write it every day mm -hmm. and if i write it in my journal every day by the end of the week i've memorized it it's all you're not gonna all make us so excited huh <laughs> 
No, when that was in, in Teen Challenge, oh my god, we were graded on that. So we have to memorize things. So stressful. No. no. Oh. I have all right, look at, let's look at week one. I got so much in this hand. Is this all on Proverbs 31? No. None of it is. This is all about worship. Um, the memory verse. The memory verse for the first week is Psalms 40, verses 1 through 3. Let's see how long that went. Pretty long. It's right there. Oh, he's right here on the page. Oh, there. Yeah, right. It's on the page. That's not too long. No, I wait patiently for the Lord, and He inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of the horrible pit of miry clay and set my feet up on the rock and established my steps. And to put a new song in my mouth, praise to our God. Many will see it in fear and will trust in the Lord. If you write that every day, it's going to get in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you may never remember where the, what the address is, so write the address also. But that scripture will come to mind in so many ways over the next week. It'll either pop in your head, you'll hear somebody saying something about it, you'll hear the Myrie yeah. Clay song. Eat it, a form it, on the rock. Uh, I, yeah. As soon as it hit, I was like, oh, that's a song. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's an awesome so, song. Uh, mm -hmm. I was thinking that song about that song. I hadn't heard it in years. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, man, I missed it. I wish they played that and prayed and worship in that Sunday. I prayed. You know, saying that. I was like, mm -hmm. that's right, my feet up on the rock. Answer <laughs> prayer. Yeah, yep. there you go. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. All right, right in the beginning, it says, on week, under week one, it says, Lord, I worship you because that's your first question. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then you write out the scripture each day. You only have to answer the question once. Okay, you don't have to answer that every day. And you write out each of these scriptures. Right. Okay. One one at a time. There are seven there are seven for each week. Mm -hmm. If you don't get to all seven, it's not a big deal. Okay? You know, if you miss a day and you want to skip it, or you miss a day and you go back and you read Psalms one fifty, you think, Oh, that's a good one. I need to write that one. Or if you you know, say you you know, you got all the way down to the end of the week and you've only done two, you might glance through a couple others and you go, Okay, well this is the one I want to write. Don't, this is not a law. This is not something that you have to be. But it's good for us if we do it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Hey, like the way I'm looking at it, I'm going, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that I've been trying to think of a way that Michelle and I could get more into the scriptures while she's at my house because there's a limited time. We're talking, what, two months and two weeks? <laughs> <laughs> we're not We're not talking very much more time, and I want to get more scripture. I would never be there. <laughs> hey, Maria. <laughs> Um, Blake, if you would type these in for me, the first day is Psalm 148, 1 through 6. Um, Romans, that says 123. I don't think that is a chapter in the, in the book of Romans. Either. Let me see what I'm going to do. Is I'll just I think do it's this Romans 12, during actually. My morning. Do Romans 12, uh, verses 1 and 2. Verse 12. Yeah. Not a 123? Not, not 23 either, because there's not 23 in Romans. Okay. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? Yeah. On the second one, it says it's Romans 1, 1 2, 3. It's oh, it's three. Romans 12. Yeah. Romans 12. Yeah. No. I was wondering. Sorry. I did see that. Well, you know, I could look up yeah. in the directions. Make sure. 12. Um, I'm sure you have. And then the next one is Psalms 150, verses 1 through 6. Marie, I'll send this to you in a text. Anybody else that needs it, um, just send me a message and I'll send it to them in a text. Actually, I'll just take a picture of it and send it to you. I have answers to questions tonight whenever I'm at work. When are we on the so there's so much good stuff um, that I think we're, we're missing by not doing our own deep study. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. I know that when I study to teach, I'm in a much better, much better place, right? right? And if I'm not teaching, and, and if I'm not teaching, I get well, I get off track. I I sit in front of the TV. I get the mully grubs. I get mad. Yeah, mm -hmm. mad that you know it's I get mad and sad. Yeah. And I don't get glad, and it's just right. you know it's mm -hmm. just what happens when when I get out of the word, mm -hmm. and you you can always tell when I'm not studying when I'm not in the word, yeah, because I become. I that way too. No, you can see it on her face, and I just go, I just go to my room. Yeah, Michelle just shuts her door. You <laughs> can read her David face. Can read her face. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm, I'm uh, pretty plain. I, I you know, I'm pretty. Yeah. Unless you know, can read my face. Yeah, you know, when I'm too. when I'm not feeling yeah. good, it's easy you know to tell. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So but if I'm not feeling good spiritually, 
then I'm not leading <clears throat> properly. Mm -hmm. So I need to be, I need to, I need this for me as much as anything. Yeah. I started out uh, trying to memorize the book of James many years ago, and I got through the verse that says, um, count it all joy, tribulations of various kinds, for the tribulation produces strength, or whatever the verse is, and I went, mm -hmm. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I quit memorizing. And, and by the way, that is chapter 1, verse 2. <laughs> That's how far I got. That's how far she got. <laughs> and I love the book of James. The book of James is an awesome book. And that might be what we do. We might pick a book and let's yeah. just write the, write the book and each week talk about what it means to us. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to talk about is what God is speaking to you each day as you're doing this journaling. So be sure you take the time to mm -hmm. listen for what the Lord has to say. Mm -hmm. What I find what I find is that while I'm journaling, he talks to me. Mm -hmm. And when he talks to me, I write it down and I put parentheses around it or I highlight it cuz this is from God. Right? You know, uh the first time I remember it happening was we were at um Parkview and God told me to start a prayer circle. He said, "I don't want a prayer chain, I want a prayer circle." And I didn't know anything about prayer. And by the way, I was the youngest of the ladies in the Bible studies, okay? Mm -hmm. We're talking about people my age now. Yes. And they were all so serene. And they were so calm. And it was like, <laughs> I want to be like that when I grow up. Well, I'm still not like that. <laughs> yeah, that's how that's how I sometimes look yeah. at y'all. And it's like, <laughs> I, I would Wait look at them. It. And at one point, my son was having a terrible time, and, and um, he was coming back to the he was coming move, moving back home, and and I, and I told one of the ladies about it, and she just said, "Oh, thank you, Lord, for bro brokenness," because my son was broken, and he was coming home. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it was, when she mm -hmm. said that, I just went, "I'm just trying to tell you how awful his life was." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the horrible things that are going on. Um. So anyway, it just, um, it, I was, he said, I want you to do a prayer circle. And I'm going, I don't know what that is. So he, as I was writing it, he gave me a picture. And it's a circle. You know how the Olympic rings are joined, mm -hmm. all right? It's joined to this circle, but up here is a circle joined mm -hmm. to two circles, and over here is two circles. That way, as the calls go around the circle, you get to this point, and you call people on this circle also as calling the next person on your circle. So this starts this ring. This one starts this that ring. This oh, one. cool. And that mm -hmm. way, because a prayer chain can be broken mm -hmm. by yes. one person not making the right. phone right. call, but yeah. a prayer circle can't. Right. Because right. it's going to go around mm -hmm. and it's going to keep going. And somebody, you know, the, pe the person behind me may not call, but I'm already off onto the next circle. Mm -hmm. So I put that all together and I had the chart and I had a people sign up for it and we put it all together and had people praying. And then he said... So I'm writing this down as fast as I can. I made the cards and I took it to the prayer team and I said, this is what God's showing me to do. She said, sounds great. Let's do it. I said, the other <clears> thing <throat> is he wants us to be identified in some way in the church. Now, this is, mm -hmm. Parkview was a big church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're, they're, I used to live right yeah. on the street. They there. had the contemporary <laughs> services that we went to and they had the traditional services. And most of the prayer ladies were from the traditional. And I said, mm -hmm. but God wants me to, I, we wants us to be identified in some way. So they know, people in the church know that they can come to any of us on the team and get prayer immediately. Right? Like here, you know that if you ask somebody to pray, they're going to stop and pray with you. Mm -hmm. Well, this, this was, you know, a thousand people. Right. And you didn't know who to ask. You didn't know who you could trust and stuff like that. So she had me get, God had me get little pens they were praying hands and pass them out to the ladies on the prayer team. We wore them to church. So they knew who y'all were. So people yes. knew who so we cool. were. Oh, cool. Yeah. And we didn't really stay there much after that. We were gone about later that year. We had moved on to a, a more charismatic church. But that's how God talks to me. You know, it, it's he, he'll tell me while I'm writing. And I write it down. Um, and it helps me cement that this was from the Lord. So, you know, I, it's just one of the tricks that I use. God's going to show you guys how he wants to talk to each one of you. Mm -hmm. you know? He talks to me whenever. Yeah. yeah oh, does. all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is great. Doesn't matter where I'm at. Sometimes he talks to other people and I'm like, what? I know. That's, that's what I'm And, and like people that I wouldn't God. think know anything about God. I'm like, huh? Yeah. It makes me, it makes, it hits me in the face and that's what I need though. I need yeah. to be hit in the face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, one of the studies we've done I'll, is called, I'll been there too. We've done a study called Experiencing God. Have y'all ever done that? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Well, that may be something we have to do. Mm-hmm. Really? All right, we tried experiencing no. God by Henry Blackaby. We, no. we did. We did, it, we did it as a church last year. Really? Yeah, it was a it was a twelve week eighteen. It was two, it was a twelve week study with homework every day mm-hmm. and workbooks. And the biggest problem we have is that people don't like to do the workbooks. Yeah, it's it's work. You have to do the work. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, it will change your life. But mm-hmm. if you don't do the work, then you're not going to get the benefit of it. Yeah. But it, it's it's an incredible study. And one of the things he says in there is God will speak to you through prayer, circumstances, people, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and the word. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. All right. Mm-hmm. And we all have had circumstances mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. where he's spoken to us, yeah. or you know, yeah. whether we're aware of it or not. Exactly. And people, <clears throat> um, it's a great. You know, when we we started talking about uh, pastoring, it was like, okay, discipleship 101, everybody has to complete this course. Mm-hmm. It's 12 weeks, and it gets tough. Mm. You lose about a third of the group at week seven, seven. or seven. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the name of that one? Uh, oh, it's about faith. A challenge to faith. or, or Yeah, your faith really gets tested at that point. Yeah. And it happens every time. Experiencing mm. God, Marie. Uh, it, it's mm. just an awesome. So that might be something that we look at next yeah. year. Mm. If you do it in a small group, you don't you're not as likely to lose people. Mm. Yeah. Especially as close as y'all have gotten. Right. But, right. But mm-hmm. you know, when you do it with large group, mm-hmm. week seven. Mm-hmm. 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 People yeah. drop out because yeah. you know, it's test your faith. I mean it really does. It's like, whoa, are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. It um it's really it's really it's really powerful. But mm. at this point I want us to focus on this. Mm-hmm. Cultivating yeah. worship, writing the word. Um, I'll send you, Marie, I'll, I will text you a list of the scriptures to write um, each day and um, instructions. instructions and all that stuff. Uh, and then on the live day, we'll get together and we'll talk about what has happened during the week. But believe it or not, I learned a lot when we were studying Revelations. Oh, we're not done. Even though... Yeah. By, know, we by the way, we weekly. will go back to Revelations in January. <laughs> it's blown that me away be, yeah. how much what? I've learned this past year. While, while, while we were fasting mm-hmm. <laughs> in January, we're going to finish, we're going to go back to Revelation. I want to... I, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I think it's too important to not finish it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. when you say we're going to fast, what exactly is that for... Fasting? The, yeah. I, know, I, know, I know it's... You can do it with food, but you can do it with other things too okay. it doesn't have to be food i don't have to starve the reason the reason you fast <laughs> is because you want to get closer that's to god me. correct so say you can do it with the tv yeah oh, my god. oh yes <laughs> oh that's what les needs to do so <laughs> what happens is is, uh, is whatever it is that keeps <laughs> you, you from studying god. your word mm. or from bible study or prayer or whatever whatever it is that keeps you is what you give up your distraction yeah Right, mm-hmm. and then you spend mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. amount, that mm-hmm. time. I'm not on Facebook. Okay. but then you spend that time studying. I right? watch TV with right. the Facebook too. So. so what what you do when you're fasting a meal? So you're fasting lunch. Instead right. of going to eat lunch, you go and study. Okay. 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 Instead of mm-hmm. watching this TV show from seven to eight, you study. I can stop. I, I can, right. I don't have to. I can study for a little while and then go back to watch TV. Right. You don't, don't have, have to. Complete... You, yes. It, it's whatever God is putting you on ask your the heart. Lord and it's what the Lord. Okay. He may be telling you something totally mm. off the wall that none of no, us. No, it was that bad. I went to church camp. They didn't have TV for a week, and I literally was like, <laughs> "What? what? You did that? I'm not a hook. Wow, yeah. 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 yeah, I'm not. I'm not I used to I'm be, like, but I'm like, not anymore. I, I sat in front of the TV for 24 hours when I got home after church camp. <laughs> well, you you know, y'all know that I have the TV on in my house all the time because because I don't like the voices in my head. Right. right? Well, right. Well, I, I used to do that, that for but now I got the music yeah, on. Me too. I, and, I do the little music doesn't work for me. Mm. I've really? tried I've tried music and it doesn't it doesn't it it's doesn't, not somebody talking. Yeah, it doesn't keep me mm-hmm. from. It doesn't keep. I can me. do a lot of things with the TV on, and yeah, as I can long too. as the noise is there, I'm yeah, getting yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I can, we can sleep crochet, with the TV on. I mean, that's I the only way I can, can sleep. Yeah. I'll have to be watching the noise. It makes it light and that really that way. Rice is right in the background and all that. If God says no TV, then there'll be no TV. Yeah, well, I don't know if you remember, but it was during COVID when we were fasting. It was one day that we fasted. It was before Easter. Yes. Yeah. And we're fasting for. Healing of the nation. I will tell you that Coke, <laughs> because I drink Coke all day. Maybe it could, maybe it's Coke. And being away from my Coke all day and just having little sips of water through the day, whew, 
It was hard. <laughs> but I made it. <laughs> but the whole point of it is whatever it is you are no longer doing, you have to be you take that amount of time yeah, yeah. in yeah. the scripture. Yeah. So if you were gonna sit and drink a Coke and it takes you twenty minutes and you need to spend twenty minutes in yeah. the word. Yeah. Yeah. Or in prayer. Um it it's not Sometimes there's no it's loss. hard for me to pray for twenty minutes. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I run out of things to say. I do too. Well, not just praying. That's, why, that's, why, that's why I talk in tongues sometimes. But like Les told me. But I, I don't even know what I'm saying. I guess I was asking Les the other uh, it was a while back. I was like, I can't pray for 20 minutes. And he said, well, if you can't pray, then just worship. Yeah. You worship, I read in scripture, like, meditate on God's yeah. word. But there, okay, if you're connect. if you're praying yeah, for twenty yeah. minutes, then there's twenty minutes that you need to be quiet for to hear yeah. from God. Right. I mean, you it's, need it's, to it's meditate. It, ah, I get I mean, it. Okay. You, you know, uh, prayer is a conversation between you and the Lord, mm -hmm. and if you don't mm -hmm. stop talking long enough for Him to answer you, then mm -hmm. He can't do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And right. it, so <laughs> it gets complicated. I mean, it, you can make it too complicated, and it's not. Mm -hmm. It's the the best example I had was a pastor was teaching us about prayer and he said just he pulled a chair up and sat in the middle said, God's in that chair just talk to him uh -huh. yeah it's just a conversation yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know first of all you're not telling some God something he doesn't already know mm -hmm. right you're not telling him that he you know I you know my car broke down and I don't know what I'm gonna do you're telling him I don't know what to do Right. What yeah. can you? Well, how is it going to get fixed? What you know? You, then you're going to him and asking Talk for him. his I advice. Know. I have a testimony about that from you know not this past week but last week. It was basically that's what he wanted from me mm -hmm. was to basically cry out to him yeah. Just and, ask. and quit handling all of my stress on mm -hmm. my own. You can't do you can't it. Can't do it because I'm I and, and it no. was to a breaking no. point, and I was just freaking <laughs> out, and I yeah. finally just fell to the ground, and I was yeah. like, "Please, God, please!" And oh, after God. that, just everything released. Okay, darn, it works. <laughs> Yeah. It's it does work. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. It does. That when we do it God's way, how well it runs. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Like when I ran over that thing and I had two tires busted oh and I gosh. didn't freak out and I called her and I was like, Miss Kathy, I have two busted tires. <laughs> I called my mom and I was like, Mom, I have two busted tires. And she was like, I'm coming. And, they're all, and, and, and my heart starts racing and I'm grabbing my stuff, my purse and my phone and my keys and said, I'm on my way, Michelle. I'm on my way. She said, No, I'm not here. I'm closer to my mom. She's going to come and get me. Going, but my thing is, mom, my mom goes, Michelle. But you handled it. You did not freak out. Yeah, you were not I even know. crying when yeah. I came. Got you. I was like, really? Are you sure? Are you, Are you sure, sure I wasn't freaking out? I think I was. Inside I was. But I was calm on the other. It was crazy. But, but she knew the things that were going to be was gonna, care God was going to take care of it. God didn't just give me this truck it to be to lose it right now. Exactly. Blake yeah. says he longs for us to cry out to him as his children. He desires us to run to him when we have problems. Yes. He does. Yeah, I, I learned that. Just like we yeah. want our yeah. kids yeah. to come yeah. to us yeah. when they have a problem. Yeah, yeah. very you know, true. Then I try to fix it, and they get mad, and you know. I, yeah. But but we're so. so we I don't know. David I know. I'm listens. so stubborn. <laughs> David's the the meek and mild. Mm -hmm. on, he on the he, side. he is mm -hmm. the definition of meek, which yes. is definition of meek is. Mm -hmm. Bridled, yep. controlled strength. He is. Mm -hmm. Stephen said, "I just would love to be a man like Miss, like Mr. David." He says that. He tells me that. I'm like, I would love you to be like Mr. David Less too. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pray about that. Yeah. Yeah. Less is a lot like that. He is. It's He's just very so calm. <laughs> very calm. He, he does not get mad. He does not get irate. He does not yeah. holler. He yeah. he he's just he at peace all at yeah they all the like time. And, and never. The way when I met him, I was so anxious always, always. and just, but being around him, mm -hmm. he calmed me. Mm -hmm. He kept me. Yeah, sometimes it's a crazy, you're being too loud. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was a lot like that. Yeah. You never knew when he was mad. A pin could drop on the floor and something might, ex <laughs> might explode and Bub's going, what did you stop it? <laughs> Goodness like, Christ, no, yes. no, he, he's very strong. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much strong. He is, and I I but you're not. Back. No, I'm chill. That's I'm, why. I'm back. That's I'm why y'all are good That's together. That's why y'all are good together. It works. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. My dad's super calm. Because two my high strong just, people oh, cannot oh, be together. Oh, <laughs> me and my ex-husband were very high strong mm -hmm. together. And but the whole the whole point of this is God. God wants to change us mm -hmm. so much into the people He created he us, to be. us to be. Mm -hmm. right? When He when He was forming you in the womb, He said, "Oh, 
Amy's going to be like this. She's going to do this, and she's going to do this, and this is what I have for her. This yeah. is the gifts I have. And that's for her. what he's trying that's, to do to us. Yeah, yeah. Right. I told Miss Carla that this morning. But, but yeah. then what happens? But what be. happens is, is that you become you're born into a world. sinful family. Yeah. You're born into a yeah. sinful world, and all everything comes against you yes. and attacks you and weighs you down and changes mm-hmm. you and be, really causes you to become more anxious or more afraid or more angry or more whatever. And God had never intended that for us. Yeah. And the only way he can get us where he wants us to be, a lot of times, is crushing us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just flat out busting us to the ground. Yeah. yeah. And it, and God's done that in the last year. He showed me that. That's he's like, he's really like look. He was like, I'm trying to make you the person. When you were you when you were when little and you remember being that pure of heart mm-hmm. little girl. Yeah, right. And how pure and how much you love people. That's how I want you to be right now. And it's so difficult. It's not... You got saved as a young child. I did too. It came to me as a young child. You know, it's 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 because I've had a lot of stuff happen to me, it's hard to right. let down my guard and just be nice to people, but I can't, it's it's my, it's my in my nature. Right. Yeah. I had to use drugs to make me out of my nature. So yeah. I wouldn't exactly. be that with people. Exactly. You see what I'm yeah. saying? I had to cover it all up so people wouldn't hurt me. Mm-hmm. Well, now, but now I'm protected by God and these people aren't going to hurt right. me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No yeah. weapon yeah. for yeah. against so, you. It's right. when you finally crazy. come out and trust him yeah. fully right. is when he starts making a difference in your life and, and then people start seeing it. I know my life has completely changed. And in the, the past last year. person to I'm see it. I'm not the same person. Is yourself. Gotta keep trusting him when he's is your spouse. Are you spouse? Lord, you really? I don't know about that because. No, it is. Your family is the last one to accept that you've actually changed. Well, my oh, spouse yeah. told me a long time, like six over six months ago. He said, "Well, he knows you've changed. You're proof that there's a God because." Well, he grew up in this. You're he a different person. This. Oh, okay. But yeah. Look I at extended it. family. You know, you, you're right. My, my daughter, right. my son, and my daughter. They, you know, people that I knew back in the '90s are like, oh, you yeah. know, Who still very you? guarded. Right. It's like, yeah. who are you? You know, they, I take that mm-hmm. back. My mama. I think my mama has come to the realization. To- yeah, because she's asked me. She says, "You said y'all doing a study on Revelation." She says, "I have a question." So I think she's starting mm, right. to. She's starting to accept the person that you are. Yep. Yeah, than and than I can, yeah. And I can I talk, tell. And I can talk about God <laughs> now in front of them and things that I'm learning and things that, you know, we're going to. Well, you through. couldn't in the beginning. And, no. before, no. and, 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 really, they and now they sit and they too. listen. Yeah. And then they, they, come, come, they'll come. I've noticed they're yeah. coming closer to yes. God too and having a more relationship. That's awesome. With, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was good. They're yeah, going yeah, yeah. to end up coming to church and telling yeah, you what you're talking about. Mama wanted to come. Wanted to come. Oh, really much. She wanted yeah. to come soon. She did. Yay. But she didn't have a wheelchair. So <laughs> there's no way she could take those steps. Yeah. Right. In the front. Okay. Okay. So she wanted to come and then daddy was saying, no, I don't think we could go. It was... The weather, the, the, the weather was kind of weird. Really bad. Yeah, we were really bad. She didn't have a wheelchair, wheelchair, and he was worried with the cover cover thing because right. she's very susceptible to anything. Well, all she but they will come. Yeah. 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 That's they awesome. will. They will. I, I, I know they I will. I felt it. She, I yeah, felt she it. They're, they're going to come. Praise it's going to be wonderful. They were going to church. They were going to Catholic church, but she hadn't been to church in a whole year now since she's been sick. I was blown away when I found out that my daughter went to church. Okay, We finished what we were planning to talk about as far as the Bible study. I appreciate y'all hanging out with us. You certainly don't need to I don't know. We're, we're, we're just talking now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we come, we you know, so, you know, I don't, no, no, I'm just going to go ahead and disconnect the, the live if that's all right. <laughs> um, we do appreciate all of you that get on and watch it during the week and, and catch up with us. Um, you have time now to go back and catch up on all the revelation studies. Cause they were some really good ones. Mm-hmm. There were some that I was what, I'm not real sure of, but there were some that were really, really good. And you need to listen to if you haven't caught up. On the Revelation study, um, and we will finish the book of Revelation in January, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. <laughs> yeah, amen. Because <laughs> too, it's too important to not finish. So we appreciate y'all, and hope y'all have a blessed day. You weren't here whenever we were all giving thanks that day, right? Yes, I was. Were you were. We here, Gibson. What he said about the cat? Cat about the cat? Yeah. yeah. yeah.